Hi, my name is Putri Masha Bukisa. I am a Applied Physics student from School of Physics. I am the presenter of the video. Hi, my name is Nurul Zaman Mustafa. I am a Physics student from School of Physics. I am as uh, editor for this video. Hi, my name is Nurul Zaman Mustafa. I am a Applied Physics student from School of Physics. My role is as a script writer. Hi everyone, do you know what is Samarin Cobalt Magnet is? Let's find out at the next video. Samarin Cobalt Magnet is a type of red earth magnet. It is a strong permanent magnet made of two basic elements which are Samarin and Cobalt. They were developed in early 1960 by Carl Knight at Wright Patterson Air Force Base and Elden Ray at University of Dayton. Now that you already know the introduction, you must be curious on what the application is, right? Hmm. Let's find out in the next part. Aha! Uh -huh. This is where things get interesting. This magnet is actually in gas turbine and generator in a really big ship. In gas turbine driving ship, the conventional gas turbine is combined with power turbine to provide power to the ship propeller. The system of ship propulsion is known as space shaft gas turbine. In order to generate electricity, the gas turbine keeps a mixture of air and fluid at a very high temperature, causing the turbine blade to spin. The spinning blade then converts energy into electricity. Let's watch the clip. The hot gas electric mixture moves to the turbine blade and forces them to spin at more than 3000 rpm. Now, the chemical energy has now been converted into mechanical energy. The turbine then captures energy from the expanding gas which causes the drive shock which is connected to the generator to rotate. That generator has a large magnet surrounded by a coil of copper wire. When that magnet gets rotated fast, it creates a powerful magnetic field that lines up electrons in the copper wire and causes them to move. The rotating mechanical energy has now been converted into electrical energy because the movement of electron through a wire is electricity. In what's called a combined cycle power plant, the gas turbine can be used in combination with a steam turbine to generate 50% more power. The hot exhaust generated from the gas turbine is used to create steam and a boiler which then spin the steam turbine bit with their own drive shaft that turns the generator. What you end up with is the most efficient system for converting fuel into energy. Everything has its own pros and cons. Let's know more about advantages. The first advantage is this magnet offers a good thermal stability. It can withstand a higher temperature than made neodymium magnet. The maximum operating temperature is between 250 and 550 degrees Celsius and the curing temperature is between 700 and 800 degrees Celsius. If these magnets are resistant to corrosion, usually it doesn't require coating or packing. Secondly, the magnet is resistant to demagnetization. Now, let's proceed to disadvantages. Firstly, the disadvantage is this magnet is brittle. Secondly, this magnet is prone to cracking and chirping. In conclusion, this magnet has its own benefits due to its characteristics, but it's still lacking in some parts. That's all from me. Bye bye!